Hi viewers, welcome to the NSQ YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create steel column in Tecla Structures 2022 version with the given example. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures with Indian environment. Let's take example. In our PDF example, we have column, steel column with the standard profile ISMB 300, Indian standard profile. And we have column height 3000 and we have orientation like this in the top view. Okay, now I'm going to create this steel column in Tecla structures. So, to create steel column, click on this steel option. You'll get this steel icons here. Now I'm going to create column. So, click on this steel column option and zoom it here. And click on here, gradient section point to create a column here in 3D model. Right click on mouse interrupt. You can see now we have default column like this. You can see coming to this view, you can see currently we have transparent view. You can see you can see through this column view in the grid. To rotate this column, use the shortcut control and mouse middle button and hold the control and mouse middle button to rotate. Drag the mouse left and right. To move exactly at the middle of this uh, rotation point at here, use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here. You can see now rotation point generated here. So use the hold the control and mouse middle button and pan the mouse to rotate like this. You can see like this. Okay, now coming to this view, you can change this type of view here. Currently we have shaded view to get render view or solid view. You can use the shortcut control for you can see now this is a solid view or render view. You can see this column. Is completely solid like this if you want to use wireframe use the shortcut control one you can see currently this is the wireframe okay now we're going to use the render view use the shortcut control four you can see this is the column now like this okay now I'm going to change this column uh, profile so double click on this column to open column property window you can see like this Okay, uh, currently we have profile ISMB 400. In our example, you can see in our example we have uh, this column profile ISMB 300. So we're going to change this profile. So click on here, profile catalog. In this profile, by default we have, the, you can see IS808 is the standard profile here. In this uh, category, we have subcategory at this location. ISHB, ISJB, ISLB, and ISMB. Currently we record ISMB profile so in subcategory you can see ISMB 300 so click on it then click on apply ok you can see currently we have ISMB 300 updated here so click on modify to update in the model so click on modify here you can see now this profile should be ISMB 300 now coming to here IS2062 is the material grade if you want to change you can change from here According to the design information, we need to select the material grade from this list. You can see steel. Under steel category, you can see we have a lot of material grades. Okay, by default, we are going to take here IS2062. If you want to change as per design, you can change. You can select from here in this list, then click on apply OK to uh, update here in this option. Okay, by default, we are going to take here IS2062. Okay, let's take here IS. 2062 then click on apply ok now coming to the class you can change this column color for example you can see by default we have this magenta color class 7 so if you want to change click on here and select the different color click on modify to update here in the model like this you can see for example let's take this color like this okay default we're going to take here class 7 click on modify it like this and close this window here now go to top view by using the shortcut control p on your keyboard now zoom it here currently we placed this column at here grid a1 you can see this is one grid and it is a grid so you can call it as a1 grid so come here in our example you can see in our top view we have orientation like this horizontally but in our model we have vertical orientation so we're going to change this orientation so double click on this column once again to open this column steel column property window now you can see uh, under position you can see here rotation you can directly type here 90 degrees otherwise you can use these options also here front 
click on here you can see we have subcategory here list front top back and below front opposite is the back if you press the back option it will rotate 180 degrees so we need to rotate 90 degrees so you can select the top then click on modify to rotate 90 degrees like this okay now coming to this number series these are the assembly numbering uh, prefix and start number and part numbering and start number i'll explain this number series uh, separately clearly in in future video so currently we're concentrating on these options now close it here now use the shortcut control p for 3d view you can see now we're going to change this column height in our example we have column height here 3000 you can see from ground level 0 to top of this column we have 3000 so now go to update this one information also so double click on this column to open the column property window otherwise you have another option also select this column then use the shortcut alt enter to open this column property window now you can see in the position the bottom level we need to enter here zero because the ground level uh, at the column bottom level is a zero and the top level we have 3000 you can see top level is a 3000 from ground level so we need to enter here at the top level 3000 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see like this now close this window okay now select this column you can see you directly get here 3000 you can directly change this column height from here also click on this 3000 and you can type here 4000 to enter 4000 top level you can see you click on here and enter 3000 uh, to get 3000 column height like this also okay for this direct option uh, you will get uh, slow slow down your system when you enter or uh, uh, when you modify this column property so well, remove this option direct modification of this direct modification uh, to run your system uh, smoothly so of this uh, direct modification option okay you can see now we have this column orientation go to top view by using the shortcut control p zoom it here you can see now it is a horizontal direction as a given example as compared to here you can see horizontal direction like this now coming to horizontal vertical direction uh, use the shortcut control p for 3d view now we're going to measure this column height you can directly see the dimension here also 3000 but even though if you want to measure the dimensions we need to create uh, elevation view so click on this grid right click on mouse uh, create views and click on here along grid lines now enter here elevation elevation on grid and copy it and use the shortcut control c for copy and paste here by using the shortcut control v and create and ok and we're going to take elevation on grid one and click on here to open you can see now we have elevation view like this for more details about this how to create views and how to create grids i clearly explained in my previous videos in this series so please check out in my channel now i'm going to measure this vertical dimension so click on here edit and measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and click on here to create the dimension you can see 2000 directly come on interrupt this dimension uh, is the checking dimension so now i want to remove this dimension so click on here on space right click on mouse redraw view to remove this checking dimension you can see like this now click on window and select this 3d view like this okay that's it about how to create steel column in tecla structures with given example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you